Firstly, I thought I should start by uh, saying sorry for not being very active on social media the last week. Not going to make any excuses for it. Although, I do believe that breaking my leg might be a good one. <laughs> sorry for quoting my good friend Kyle Schufelt. Um, I thought it was relevant as he was the one that suggested that I do some video blogging uh, to track my emotions and my feelings and progress uh, for when I'm stood still and I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. So I can look back and see how far I've come. This first week has been real hard for me, just coming to terms with it all and realising what, what actually happened. Uh, I'll give you a little uh, flashback on it. So, I was on vault. I didn't actually make it to the competition. It was in the hour warm-up. It was my last turn before I started competing. And, well, I compete double pack suit normally and I do it with ease. Ease isn't the right word, but you know what I mean. I've put a lot of hard work into it, and I can do it. And my, I'd reduced my routine to this competition, so it's the last comp of the year. I'm tired from the, the, all the highs of the World Championships. And I was meant to be doing a double twist Yuchenko, but apparently my round-off went right round the side, and so did my Yuchenko. I nearly missed my hand on the vault, actually. And I managed to land with my left leg on the concrete and my right on the mat in and I landed short as well. Um, I didn't roll my ankle or anything, but my leg just snapped straight away. I felt, I was angry at myself, like the, the, the pain, it hurt a hell of a lot, but my heart hurt a lot more. I was annoyed at myself, I was upset. Um, although I didn't do it on purpose, I felt like I let the team down. because so we was carrying some other injuries like Hayden and Jay, and it was meant to be three up, three count between me, Reese and Max, and Due to my little mistake, they had to withdraw from the competition. When I first got to the hospital, it was treated as a dislocation and um, they put me to sleep and, well, they popped it back in. But in actual fact, they only lined my two bones up again. And the picture I put on Instagram was an x-ray from after they lined it back up again. So the damage was a hell of a lot worse from what any of you have seen. Um, yeah, and later that night I was rushed into surgery because um, I was meant to wait till Monday for the specialist that uh, British Gymnastics would normally use, but couldn't wait that long. My leg was in absolute pieces and it needed to be fixed. But when I worked from my operation, I was in my hospital room and um, my mum and my coach Scott were beside my bed and due to being put to sleep, it appeared that they'd never left my side, which I appreciated a lot. Uh, the next morning I woke up to the physios in my room um, who were there to test me to see if I could walk on crutches properly um, so then I could go home to the comfort of my own bed which I was real keen on doing um, being a gymnast it didn't it was done with no ease at all I just couldn't find the balance and I was just really not feeling it so it took me three attempts the first time I got up and it was the first time I sat up since since I'd done my leg and um, all the blood rushed to my head and my leg and I went as white as Casper the ghost and I had to be put back to bed. Uh, the second time I nearly ripped the drip out of my arm so I had to be put back to bed and they took it out and um, me not doing too well with needles it took a good few hours to get over that and then the third time I was successful in uh, using the crutches and I was allowed to come home later that night, Sunday night. The first week I was actually on bed rest, and um, but speaking to the doctors and the physios from British Gymnastics, uh, they said as far as I concerned, I was allowed to get out of the house and I was allowed to be at the gym and do a bit of upper body conditioning and stuff, as long as I wasn't putting any weight or pressure on my leg. Um, Wednesday I went to visit my coach Scott, um, and was just chatting just check that he was all right as well because um, I think he was pretty uh, shocked and traumatised by what happened. Uh, Friday, I went out with Reese. Um, I watched him get some more of his tattoo sleeve finished off. At the end of week one, I actually feel a lot better in myself for getting out of the house. Uh, I feel better in my head. Um, I've come to terms with what's happened and I can't change it and I've got my mindset on getting better as quick as I can and doing everything in my power that I can to keep the dream alive. It actually feels like my leg now, I can move it around with ease and 
I'm not scared about it. Thank you for listening to my thoughts and my feelings. I'll catch up with you again in a few days. Remember, tough times don't last, tough people do.